In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a really nice timeline in PowerPoint and really expand it so you don't have to cram everything onto one slide. So let's jump into PowerPoint and see how we do it. And here I'm going to just start from a blank slide. So I'm going to delete everything and let's give it a nice background color. So for that, I'm going for a solid color and let's pick something blue. Let's pick a nice vibrant blue here and press OK. So this already looks quite nice. I think that's bold font. I kind of like that. I'm going to add a text box. And I'm just going to type in lorem ipsum, just some dummy text for the font. Let's try poppins, make it white. And then you can choose if you want to have it larger, if you want to have a sub font, that is all possible here. So you can download those sub fonts or those fonts on, on Google or that font. There's quite a lot of options here. I'm also going to type in lorem open brackets one point or comma two close brackets or parentheses. And then you can add some dummy text to the slide. I'm going to put this in a slightly lighter font like this and also remove it since it's going to be a bit less text. So I think this will look quite good. Now, if you want to have a timeline, well, let's also add a little bit of a date. So let's do 2025 and make that quite a bit bigger, but also thinner. So I think if we go for extra light, that could kind of work if we make it large and we have this really nice grouped part of the text. So that is what we're going to repeat a few times. So I'm going to group it together. Now I'm going to create some duplicates just like this and then select both and then repeat that one more time here. So this way we can easily get four on the slide. Let's just position them nicely, grab a shape and a line, and I'm just going to start somewhere here and drag it to the side so that it meets the border of the slide. I'm going to make this white and now we can choose. We can add some style effects to it. Let's first of all change the dates 2026, 2027, 2028. And let's say we want to go further. We're going to do that in a second. I'm going to add some nice touches to it. I'm going to use that same blue and a white outline. Position that here and I'm going to hold the control shift key and create those variants. Now, maybe we want to position it all at the start so that it's equally positioned. We can also select the text boxes, align, distribute horizontally. And this way we sort of have them equally spaced. And that always looks a bit nicer. So we see those grids, they start to snap into place when everything is equally positioned. And that's what we want. Now we're just going to drag this in. We can connect it, that's fine. You can give it a bit more breathing room, just like this. There we go. And if we then right click and duplicate the slide, well, on this part, we can drag it, that bar, we can drag it to the other side. And I'm going to connect it here on the right side so that we have this. And then we came from 28. So we're going to continue it 2029, 2030, 2031, and 2032. So depending on what sort of information you have, you could make it like this. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some nice design elements to it. So I'm going to add some clouds to this with PNG backgrounds. You can find some online, uh, just a PNG background that is good, that we don't have any overlap. And I'm just going to make some larger, smaller and add them in between. And then also one on the edge. So like this, I think that will look quite good. Let's make it a bit smaller, just like this to sort of fill up that space. And now I'm going to copy it, paste it on the other side. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to crop it and match it to that side. And then I'm going to hold shift and bring it to the other side. So this way we have the exact same cutoff. And I'm going to just copy a few more to sort of fill up the space here in those. And then on that side, we can do the same. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use that push transition. So I'm going to select the second slide, go to transitions and go for push. And now this looks a bit weird. So we're going to effect options and push it from the right. Now we're going to set the timer to maybe two seconds, go to the first slide and preview. So this way we have our nice image with our four points. And as soon as we're done talking about them, we can easily click and shift it to the next ones. But you see how those are connected, which is pretty cool and has a really amazing effect for your slides. So thanks all for watching. I hope you like this. And if you want to learn more about PowerPoint or these transitions, make sure to watch the video on the screen right now. You'll love it.